In South Korea, the captain of that capsized ferry boat and two members of the crew were arrested today. And the last section of the hull slipped below the water. The confirmed death toll is at least 29. Relatives of the nearly 300 missing, most were teenagers from the same school, are still hoping survivors can be found. But Seth Doan says that hope is fading fast. Rescuers failed to find survivors today, but divers pumped oxygen into the capsized ferry anyway. The ship suddenly tipped to one side, the survivor said. They said that the ship will not sink. Investigators now believe the ferry made a sharp turn just before it started listing. They also believe the captain was not on the bridge when the trouble started. A delayed evacuation likely prevented many from escaping. Many families of the missing are camped out on the floor of this community gym in the town of Jindo. It's as close as they can get to where the ferry sank. 25-year-old Choi Yong Kyung's aunt was on the boat. His mother spent last night in the hospital because of all the stress. While we were here, some were carried out on stretchers. What goes through your mind? I cannot think anything at all. I don't know what I feel even. The wait is only broken up by bursts of anger and sometimes sobs. When I see people around me crying, I feel my heart is twisted, Kim Young Hwa told me. She and her mother have been here since it sank. Kim's sister was one of the high schoolers on that ferry. Kim's mother showed us a text message she got as her daughter headed out on that doomed ferry. The last one she receives his mom, I love you and I'll be home safe. Kim only wishes that could be true. I hope she comes back, she said, safely and quickly. Seth joins us now. And Seth, we got some sad news today about the vice principal at that school who was accompanying these kids. Uh, he committed suicide. Do we know anything else about that? Yes, Jeff, that's right. Uh, police confirmed to us that he was found hanging from a pine tree not far from that gymnasium where so many family members are gathered. Korean media is reporting that he left a suicide note in his wallet that said he just could not bear to live knowing that so many students had likely died. He asked that his ashes be scattered near where that ferry sank. All right, Seth Doan, thank you.